Hello, this is Zulu with Agony Game, and today I'd like to discuss a Guardian build that I'm currently running that I like to call my Undying Support build. This build is designed to take heavy damage and you'll rarely die. It provides tremendous support through healing, boons, and condition removal. This build has high survivability through high toughness, healing, and regeneration. The reason I, I'm running a build like this is because as a PvE officer in our guild, I run and lead a lot of dungeon groups. I run these groups with a focus on teaching the fights and learning the mechanics, so I wanted to have a strong build that ensures group survival, particularly when I'm running new, inexperienced, or undergear players. Now the downside to this build is that it has a low health pool. This is because Guardians have the lowest base health along with the Thieves and Elementalists, and this build doesn't stack a lot of vitality. This isn't going to be a problem though as you'll end up mitigating a lot of the damage and your health regeneration will take care of any damage that you do take. The stats that we're going to be focusing on are power, toughness, and healing power. These stats are called cleric stats. All my armor have cleric stats. They just happen to be transmuted onto my Norn cultural armor. Now if you want to find these stats in the trading post, just do a search for clerics. Or if you're looking for the name set, it's called Rurik. Now you've probably noticed that I'm running three different sets of runes on my armor. I'm running two superior runes of the monk. I'm running two superior runes of water. And I'm running two major runes of sanctuary. What these three sets do is it gives you more plus healing, but more importantly, it gives you plus 60% boon duration. What that means is abilities like save yourself, which normally have 10 seconds boon duration, now give you 16 seconds of boon duration. Now if you add some chocolate Omnom Berry Creams, which add an extra 20% boon duration, you actually end up with 80% boon duration. Now what that does is something like save yourself now is 18 seconds of boon duration as opposed to 10 seconds of boon duration. And this boon duration applies to any boons that you apply. You could get the monk runes from the Ascalonian Catacombs vendor. You could get the water runes from the training post. And you could get the runes of the sanctuary from the Honor of the Waves vendor. Now I should note that these are major runes and not the superior ones. I have an ascended fractal back piece which I also infused, so it has plus 10 Agni resistance. The stats are called Soldier Stats on here, which are Power, Toughness, and Vitality. The reason for this is because I needed the extra Vitality because I have such a low health pool. I have two identical accessories, which have Cleric Stats. And the jewels I'm using are Exquisite Sapphire Jewels. Now there are Ascended versions of this, however, I just don't have enough Laurels or Guild Commentation just yet. When I do, these will be swapped out for the Ascended versions. The amulet is an Ascended piece from the Laurel Vent. I pick the Cleric stats with a defensive slot and I put plus 4 vitality in it. Now you could use whatever infusion you want in here or even change a different stat. I just felt that I, I needed a little bit more vitality. I have two infused, uh, two infused Ascended rings. So each one has plus 10 Agni resistance and also these are soldier stats, because I also wanted a little bit more vitality as well. The main weapon for this build is a mace and a shield. For the secondary weapon, I usually use the staff, because the number four skill on the staff and power is just too good to pass up. I also swap weapons. I will use a hammer if I want a little bit more control. I use a great sword if I want to do a little bit more damage. And I also have a scepter if I have to be at ranged. Now for the sigils on the maze, I use superior sigil of life, which is plus 10 healing each time you kill a foe, and this stacks 25 times. So this gives you plus 250 healing. For the shield, I have the superior sigil of energy. What this does is it recharges 50% of your endurance, which basically what this means is that it gives you an extra dodge roll. You'll see when we look at our traits that a dodge roll actually means an extra heal. For the staff, I run Superior Sigil of Life. Once again, the healing is really good with that sigil. Now 
Now for the traits, I'm running a 0, 0, 20, 30, 20 bill. It's 20 points in Valor, 30 points in Honor, 20 in Virtues. In the Valor, I have Purity, which loses a condition every 10 seconds. Because your base health is so low, you need a lot of condition removal. And then the second one is Honorable Shield. This adds 90 toughness when you're wielding a shield. This is why your main weapon is a base and a shield. In the Honor, I have Rid of Exaltation. Now this works with the next trait, which is Rid of the Merciful, which means all your symbols heal. Because the weapons that I'm running with this build, the mace, the hammer, and the sword all apply a symbol on the ground, which means now it all heals. And then I also run Pure Voice. What this does is whenever I apply a Shout, they removes one condition. In Virtues, I have Vengeful, which retaliation lasts 25% longer, as well as Absolute Resolution, where activating the Virtue of Resolve removes three conditions. Once again, more condition removal. This is essential for this build. Now I want to bring you back to the Honor tree. This trait here, Selfless Daring, is very important for this build because the end of your dodge roll heals nearby allies. So what this means is that every time you dodge, you heal. So this is why I run the Superior Sigil of Energy on the shield because every time I swap to it, it recharges half of my endurance, which gives me an extra dodge roll, which means I get an extra heal. Now dodging in this build is very big. It's actually your biggest heal. So you're going to be dodging all the time. For utility skills... I run the Signet of Resolve, and here I get nearly 10,000 healing. I mix up the rest of the stats depending on the fight that I'm using, but I usually will use Save Yourself because it basically gives you every single boon in the game. And with your boon duration, you have 18 seconds of boon duration. This is really too good to pass up. I usually will run Hold the Line for protection and regeneration. And every now and then I'll run the Shield of the Avenger. Sometimes I'll run the, um, the other shield as well, depending on the fight. So with these utility stats, you're going to want to change these up to whatever is uh, going to be useful for your situation. And the elite skill that I run is called Renewed Focus. And this is actually really great because it renews your virtues. So what you end up doing is that you could use your Virtue Resolve, which will heal your allies. You could hit your Renewed Focus, which will then recharge your Virtue, which then you could heal again with your Virtue Resolve. A lot of people use this as their oh shit skill. However, I use this more often than not, just because I like to have my uh, Virtue Resolve ready in case I need to heal. Well, that's a quick rundown of my Undying Support build. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below or try to find me in-game. If you like this video, we have more build videos on our YouTube channel. If you aren't interested in the Agony Guild, check us out on our website at agonygaming.net. You can also find us on Facebook as well as Twitter. Again, this is Zulu with Agony Gaming. We'll see you in-game.